Alrighty, so this came a little quicker than anticipated, but this is the X Plus Sakai Yuji Modeling Collection Shin Godzilla from the, I believe, 2016, like it says on the box, movie Shin Godzilla. Um, this is the fourth version, the Awakening version. So it's... As you'll see it on the box, obviously it's not going to come with any effects or anything. I wish, but... And there is the Rick version. This is not the Rick version. The Rick versions light up. This one does not. This is the standard version. I can't even imagine what the Rick version would be. Because um, this one was 250 I think. So, what is it? 70 year anniversary? Um, I would love an X Plus Godzilla Minus One from Godzilla Minus One and... Spoilers. Well, I won't spoil too much, but after a certain thing happens to Godzilla at the very end, I'd kind of like a statue of that. Weirdly, it's kind of dope. But I got this from Big Bad Toy Store. I, I mean, I try to shout them out as much as possible. I order almost all my stuff from there. Um, Pre-ordered it last June, I think, and it finally came. So, it's. I mean, I paid it off a while ago, and. I'm just glad it's finally here. Simple, simple, simple box with just a simple cover. It's actually, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, but I will get this open. So, and I'll compare it. I have my X Plus King Ghidorah from the King of the Monsters. So, I can look at it from there as well. I. Opens a little bit differently than anticipated. Okay, so let's see. We've got one more tape. Honestly, I feel like these are, this is like a perfect size. Any bigger, I just don't think I'd have space on my, uh, on my shelf. So, cause I think it says 30 centi centimeters. I think that's a perfect size. Just to give it a little bit better angle. So, eh. I want to be as gentle with this as possible to just not have any problems. Okay. He's got extremely red feet. Interesting. So cut that. And that. So crazy. The King Ghidorah I got came in a box like five times the size of this one. It was insane how big the box was. Cat's meowing. <laughs> so we got that one. Got that one. Got that one. Got that one. I feel like I got all of them. Let me put him there. Maybe a, a metal rod. I assume. I assume it's the it's the hold something. Uh, I don't see it on the front picture, but it's a metal rod. Okay, and then we got instructions. Oh, okay.
Okay, it's to hold the tail up. So I see the metal rod. I don't see the other piece. We'll get there. Uh, the tail looks incredibly large. So I can see why it would need a base. You see red ass feet here. All the blood be going to his damn feet. I see. So, interesting enough. Um, okay. Uh, it looks like... I didn't see any instructions, maybe? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, it comes with also another stand. Uh, looks like for the base of the tail. And then you put together... And, I mean, I don't want to worry about drag or anything for the tail... So, I'm always just going to have it with the, the damn thing, tail stand. So, you got the tail stand here. Um, so, also another thing, the statue is incredibly um, lightweight. Very, very lightweight. I feel like this, the... King Ghidorah has some hefty weight to it. This this feels very, um, I mean, as long as it's solid, you know, like my, I, don't, I can't say I've ever had any issues with X plus. Um, I mean, I guess I've only ordered one thing, but so it looks like you do it here and then also like, that sure holds it up so that's the shin godzilla i'm gonna try to get some better panning shots here so we've got the shin godzilla here, let me focus you've got the creepy skull mouth i mean the painting obviously is insane on this thing that is crazy. I want to focus. You see his little pupil. The red and purple mix is just fantastic. Here, let me show the back more, the dorsal fins. They never fail with uh, the paint on this. Now, do I feel a little worried because of how lightweight it is? A little bit. Um, but I don't think it's going to ruin it completely for me. I just don't want it to be super fragile where I barely drop it and it's going to just shatter. Which I don't think it will, but you just never know. But here, I'm going to compare it next to my X-Plus King Ghidorah. So, after putting them together, I'd say their size matches pretty well. I think, I almost want to say Godzilla was a little smaller, but the American Godzilla at least. I like these two posed together though. It actually doesn't look bad. But yeah, so, X plus King Ghidorah, X plus Shin Godzilla. Incredible. Definitely, I might actually put them on a shelf together. I had this on a, a little shelf by itself. I think I'm going to put them two kind of like this. I just need to rearrange up here somewhere and kind of get it going. So yeah, that's going to be about it for this. Um, would I recommend for Godzilla fans? Of course, I would highly recommend this. It is going to definitely be an eye catcher of a piece. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at the tail. I do wish it could have came with like an effect or something. That would have been kind of cool, but fine with me. And like I said, I got this on Big Bad Toy Store for I think 250 260 So not as bad as the freaking King Ghidorah, which was like three times the price of that. So as always, thank you for watching and I'm out.